Hey guys, and welcome back to Naruto Shippuden episode 44. So in the last episode, we ended off with Naruto coming out of his beast mode and uh, Sai getting a sword shot at him from Orochimaru's mouth. Not his snake sword, however, because Sai is just a little boy and that would be disgusting, Orochimaru. I'd have to phone the authorities. No! What's going to happen though? Did Sai take it in the stomach as we were led to believe at the end of the last episode? Or was it some sort of bait and switch to make you think you took it in the stomach but he didn't actually he dodged it or grabbed it or done something different? Ah, there's only one way to find out and that's by watching the next episode. But before we do that, do remember if you've not yet liked this video, you can do so by hitting the like button. Is the, the thumbs up thing. It's just down there somewhere. Uh, if you do that, it means that YouTube will recommend my content more to you and to other people because it means that people are actually liking it. It takes two seconds of your time and it would be really great if you could do it. Thank you very much. Now, without further ado, let's crash into Naruto Shippuden episode 44. You are my friend. Was that necessary? Yeah, it did stick him. But he's a robot, so he'll be fine. Ah, it was just a painting of sight. Yeah, how does that make you feel, Roach Dish Lord? Huh? You got bamboozled, hoodwinked, the old switcheroo. When addressing someone of superior rank, proper etiquette dictates you face them directly. I don't really blame him, to be fair. I get what you mean. I was like, yeah, yeah, I knew it was a, a clone all along. <laughs> so is he just sealing it back in or is he like drawing something from him? Or is he just pulling Naruto out of the darkness? His body is it's covered with wounds. Yeah, it pulled his skin straight off him. But Sakura wasn't there for that conversation, was she? He'll heal. Does Sakura even know that Naruto's got the superior healing? I wonder how long it'll take, though, for his skin to come back. It's finally over. <laughs> Naruto! Naruto! Aww. So yeah, I don't think that Sakura knows about his extreme healing. She probably thinks he's just dead. Well then, speak up. The truth of the matter is... My master, Lord Donzo, has longed to meet you, Lord Orochimaru, ever since the time you nearly destroyed the leaf. Why, though? I thought even though Donzo wasn't a fan of the third Hokage, I thought that he still would have been against, you know, the destruction of his village. <sighs> well, with Sakura healing him along with the nine-tailed fox's power, he should be able to heal pretty quickly. His wounds are slow to heal. Naruto's always recovered quickly up till now, thanks to the Nine Tails Chakra. Ah, so she does know. Okay. The fourth tail Master Jirai spoke of. I never imagined it would be as powerful as this. I was really powerful. And like you say, that's only the fourth tail. <laughs> oh, what was that? That jutsu you used to pacify Naruto. Could you... Could you please teach it to me? Oh! I mean, that'd be cool. That isn't possible. Uh, I'm assuming it's because he's got the DNA of the first Hokage. Only I can perform that jutsu. Because I carry the first Hokage's DNA within me. Well, I mean, surely if Orochimaru done what he done to you to Sakura, then she could, but I doubt he'd do that. Without special powers like those I inherited, it is impossible for anyone to perform it. Yet all I am is an experiment. My powers pale in comparison to the original. So I'm assuming when the first was kicking about, it, like, the, the beasts didn't really bother them that much? The Jinchuriki can be controlled through that necklace. It's said the first qualified to be Hokage, partly because of that power. And it's also the reason that I was chosen to be your commander. That's interesting that that jutsu was something that made him be the first. I mean, it's quite powerful. It's ridiculous. If they were using them as as weapons, you know, if they were using the beasts as weapons, the different villages, then yeah, that would be pretty OP. The only things I can ever do for Naruto are the little things anyone could do. 
Well, not anyone could heal him. It doesn't matter whether the things you do for him are great or small. What matters most is how much you care, really care about Naruto. <laughs> I can tell just by watching you, Sakura. I mean, it does have a point. Naruto does seem to be fueled by love, as strangely as it sounds. See, I told you it'd be fine. He's always fine. He's a strong Bainabal. I remember going after Orochimaru, and then... and then... What did I do after that? What happened, Sakura? Yeah, you kind of turned into a big red fox thing. And destroyed half of the place. Just got something in my eye, that's all. I know. <laughs> it was Sai, wasn't it? I swear, if that snake said something hurtful to you, like... Oh my god, Naruto. <laughs> You're adorable. That little jerk I'll... No. No, Sai didn't say anything about monster strength. I mean, she does have monster strength, though. I think you just did. So who's the jerk? <laughs> <laughs> Back to usual. It's fine. Speaking of which, Captain Yamato, where is Sai? Ah, he's away betraying you. Try to sell your village to Orochimaru, or something like that. That is the message Danzo wanted me to convey. God damn it, Sai, could you tell us again? We missed it. I find that very interesting. Yeah, so do I. I find it super interesting. Mm-hmm. Let's pretend like I heard it. Let's pretend like it didn't just cut it out, stupid show. It's a very intriguing story. But give me one good reason why I should believe you. I mean, he's a robot. He doesn't tend to lie. What do you think Orochimaru can defend himself, Kabuto? The contents of that envelope might convince you. Yeah, I mean, he was delivering a message. You freaking idiot. Why, this is... What does it say? Yeah, what does it say? Someone please fill me in. Kabuto, let the child go. We're going to be taking him with us. Wait, what? Why? Shall we be leaving, Sai? That's your name, isn't it? What the hell? Also, did Sai just leave the contents of his backpack? So he has a treacherous scumbag. Well, Captain Yamato? <laughs> Sai is... Uh, hang on just a moment. Or is he not a treacherous scumbag, technically because he's just following the orders of his superior? Which technically wouldn't be treacherous or traitorous to his superior, but traitorous towards the leaf. Which still makes him a traitor. I suppose it won't hurt to tail them in person as well. I may not look like it, but tracking's my specialty. Wait, are you telling that to yourself? That's a really weird thing to tell yourself. He's gone off with Orochimaru. They're together. What? They're together? I blame Naruto and Sakura because every time they get someone in their team, they tend to go off with Orochimaru. Just saying. Seems a bit suspicious. I feel like they're the ones that are turning everyone. The ground is still soft. Yeah, I wonder what happened there, Naruto. Way this whole place is all torn up, and with the bridge being totally wrecked. Will somebody tell me what happened here? Ah, don't worry about it. I'm sure archaeologists in a couple hundred years will figure it out. Again, it's all just as Master Jiraiya said. I didn't know that Jiraiya says that he would forget everything. Oh no, he did say that he went unconscious when the fourth... That's right. And another thing I don't get. Why was I unconscious? But he must remember going into the third, first three stages of the Nine Tails. Shimaru attacked you and knocked you out. Huh? Wait, you're just not telling him? That's a bit weird. No, oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Ugh. Well, at least you'll get to read Sai's book now, Sakura. Sai's things are scattered all over. Why would he leave his picture book? Yeah, I don't know why he would leave his stuff. Doesn't make sense. This picture book was Sai's prized possession. Yet here it is, tossed on the ground. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make any sense. To have left something so precious behind. 
Even he must have been pretty rattled by dealing with Orochimaru. You talk about it as if you saw the whole thing. He did see the whole thing. And thanks to our wireless radios, I was in contact with him till just now. So it is a wireless radio. Then how did you manage to speak to him without moving your mouth? And he left with him and Kabuto. Huh? But why? What do you think it means? What was it they talked about? They were too far away from my clone to overhear. Hmm, I wonder. What could he have said to him? Maybe he was forced to go along against his will. No, it doesn't look like it. No, Sai approached Orochimaru and gave him something. It's almost like he was trying to ingratiate himself. Hang on, Sai may be one of the biggest jerks I've ever met, but you're not really saying that he'd betray us, are you? Wait, it's possible. Yeah, that stupid old man just trying to betray the leaf, using Sai as a messenger. Captain Yamato, do you know a man named Donzo? Yes, I know him. Ah, it's all his fault. He's a member of the Hawk faction that once opposed the third Hokage. And Sai's superior. A geezer who doesn't think too highly of the third's legacy. He's a geezer! <laughs> That's not really the right name. Sai has his own mission. One entrusted to him by Donzo. Some kind of covert mission. And one very separate from our own. Well, that said, there's a reason that you were picked. But there's also a reason that Sai was picked. I have a feeling I know what's going on here. Listen closely. I think Donzo may be plotting the destruction of the Leaf Village. Did it really take you that long to figure that out? But I think you might be right there, Yamato. It seems like, uh, it seems like Danzo's, uh, a bit method that he never got to be Hokage. Reminds you of someone, doesn't it, Orochi douche lord? Ah, it's always the same, man. People don't get their way, so what do they do? They try to burn everything down. But there's only one way to find out what happens, that's by watching the next episode, unfortunately. We've run out of time in this one. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Stigube and Awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.